Hey guys, before the video starts, I would like to say thank you for all the support recently, and let's try and get to 100 subs by Saturday the 20th of April for a double upload the next day. So like, subscribe and share this channel, and make sure to follow my other socials down below. Hey everyone, buckle up because I've got a story that'll make your hair stand on end. So, it was one weekend I was going to visit my cousins who live in another state, I used to see them a lot years ago, but we have all been so busy with work commitments and other things. I'll also add one of my cousins called Ben, fake name for privacy reasons. He recently got engaged, so we were all celebrating that news. But anyway, there's two main routes to get out of state, one on the highway, and another on some back road which was also quicker. I'm not a patient person, so I of course chose the other the back road route, but anyway, I'd been on the road all day, and it was starting to get dark. I'm cruising along, and suddenly I find myself on this road with trees towering on either side. I was driving down the road and, out of nowhere I spot this figure lying smack bang in the middle of the road. I slam on the brakes thinking maybe they're hurt or something. I hop out of the car. It was a middle-aged woman. Are you alright? I said. There was no response so I get my phone out ready to call for help. Then a branch snap from the left of me, and I hear something moving when I hear these weird noises coming from the bushes. I don't stick around to find out what's going on. I jump back in my car and start to drive off. But just as I'm about to hit the gas, all of a sudden the lady lying on the floor suddenly jumps up. Then I see these five big guys emerge from the woods from each side, sprinting towards me like something out of a nightmare. I just manage to swerve the person in the road, and those guys keep chasing after me like their lives depend on it. They were also shouting, get back here you little bitch, and just cursing in general. It was heart-pounding race to get away from them, but somehow I managed to escape, and I carried on 80 miles per hour down the road, then I stopped to catch my breath. I don't know what those guys were up to, and honestly I don't want to find out. But let me tell you, that was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me on the road. And you better believe I'll be sticking to well-lit highways from now on. Story 2 it was summertime, me and some of my buddies decided to head out fishing by some river for something to do. You know, and plus summer was almost over so we wanted to make the most of it. We set up a little fire just by the shoreline and we got out the beers and had the normal guy chat, you know about life, about some sports and of course about girls. We were like about two hours deep into the conversion, at this point some of us were a bit drunk and I was definitely a bit tipsy. We were all laughing about something really, really stupid. One of my buddies even started rolling around on the floor. Then all of a sudden I remember the exact moment. We were talking about one of my ex-girlfriends, then we heard a blood-curling scream across the other side of the river. We all just froze, and we stayed completely silent, and we were all very uneasy. The scream was unlike any other that I have ever heard in my life, if I had to describe it. It would be that it sounded like something was literally getting gutted to death in cold blood murder and it was so high-pitched and just downright disturbing. We all started discussing our different theories on what just went down until we heard a second scream. This one was even louder and even more disturbing than the first. At this point, me and my buddies were completely freaked out. We all looked at each other and ran towards our cars slash trucks. We all pulled out firearms just in case something went down. Once again, we all sat down and had our eyes peeled on the other side of the river. We were in complete silence waiting for another blood-curling screen. Then once again, a third scream was heard. At this time, it was on our side of the river about one mile away. All at the same time, me and my buddies got up and ran towards our cars, leaving all of our stuff behind. We got into our cars. I was about to put my car into drive. Then we heard a fourth scream, and this time it sounded like it was on the tree line. At the same time, we all floored it out there. We never found out what made the sound. And to be honest, I don't want to know. Ever since that day, I have never returned to that river, and I have no plans to return. Story 3. It was just a random boring Friday night, until one of my friends hits me up and asks if I want to go to the hockey game with him. I of course said yes, as it is something to do. And in that time of my life I was trying to get into hockey, as all my friends were massive hockey fans. The game was starting soon, and my buddy was just coming over to pick me up from my house, and he told me to get ready quickly, so we could make the game on time. He beeped his horn, meaning he's outside. So I quickly rush out and get into his car. 
Then we started to drive to the match. The whole car ride there, we were having such a blast. We had music on and just talking about random things. Then I thought I should message my little brother to tell him I have went out and probably won't be back until later on. I reached for my phone. Then I realized I didn't have my phone on me. I checked the seat and the floor of the car. I didn't think much of it. We arrived at the game. It was about 20 minutes into the game is where I started to worry. So I borrowed my friend's phone and quickly went to the bathroom to dial my phone hoping someone was home. No one answered on the first two rings. So I decided to ring one last time and someone actually answered, hello, I said. There was no was reply. I assumed it was my little brother messing with me. So I said, I was just ringing to see if I left my phone at the house. Again, there was no reply. It remained completely silent on the other end. Then the person on the other end of the phone just hung up. I went back to watch the game. I can't lie, it was pretty boring. But anyway, I returned home and I seen my parents or my little brother still wasn't home. I then phoned my parents, asking where they were at. They then told me they had gone out to eat and then watch a movie at the cinema. I said okay and hung up. It then hit me that if they weren't home and my brother was still out, that none of them answered the phone. My heart sank as I heard my back door slam shut. I immediately sprinted out the house and started banging on my neighbor's door. I then explained to them what happened and they let me phone the police. Then 10 minutes later police showed up. I told them what happened. They searched the house and found nothing. They told me that someone simply walked in the back door and nothing was stolen. I then walked in the house and seen my phone sitting there on the kitchen table. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, like and follow my other socials down below, and send your true stories to my email down below.